Hey guys, it's Vulnerable here. I just wanted to make a quick guide real quick on my new build that I'll be using in wars every so often and also a new build I use in OPRs and something I've really been enjoying recently, which is Scorpion Hatchet Light Melee Assassin. All right, so to quickly go over the attributes, these are the attributes. Uh, 200, 200, 200, it splits that. Now, the interesting thing about this build is I'm running most of my DPS going towards the hatchet. I have decent burst damage with Scorpion Sting with it, uh, the jab into Cyclone auto attack combo, but main, most of my damage will be based on the hatchet. That is why I've gone into an equal split stat. If you wanted to be running Scorpion more into its damage, you would run 300 dex and less strength basically. With 300 dex as well, you also get this nice little perk of a weapon swapping will cleanse all your uh, CCs basically, which is pretty cool. But yeah, I personally run more strength because it just does more damage um, with the hatchet. Also with 200 con, uh, you don't want to run less than 200 con realistically. This is way too squishy. It's not worth the damage you get. So make sure you guys run um, 200 con. So for the spear build, this is the spear build here right here. This is javelin cyclone sweep. Go over it real quick. I maxed out javelin. Now this is an optional thing. And I'm going to go over what you can swap for these two. But you definitely want Forceful Impact and Javelin. You also want Cyclone with Invigorated Combo. You do not want this. I mean, you can do this, but it's uh, I just wouldn't recommend it. You get Sweep with Tenacious Sweep. And you get Evasive Maneuvers and Merciless Strength. Merciless Strength, of course. I mean, just more damage when you Javelin uh, into your Cyclone Combo or if any targets are knocked down in general. Um, you know, it's just extra damage, so that's cool. So something interesting about evasive maneuvers is on my last build guide, I did not, on any of my spirit builds, I did not pick this up because I had no clue that they recently changed this, or I'm not sure when they changed this, to basically be pretty good before it was different and it was not worth, in my opinion, besides dueling. Um, and I still think it was niche, so this is very good now. An optional thing is coup de gras, but if you're running coup de gras, I would recommend 300 decks, because at this point, you'll be using your spear for more of the damage, and I would go more to coup de gras, but I personally just do, I use spear as more of a little bit burst, but kind of a utility weapon with this with, uh, with the javelin, into a sweep, into a auto attack cyclone combo, and I switch to my hatchet for the rest of it. Uh, for the right side tree, I run refreshing jabs, Finishing blows, unerring precision, uh, aggressive maneuvers. This is quite important, this one here. Exposed wounds, this one I'll go over here in a second. And exacerbating crits. So the thing with exposed wounds is uh, the target is to be bleeding, right? So what I actually run on my spear, look at my spear real quick, like, I run keenly jagged. Now this is an optional thing. You can run a few different, or a few different perks. I think people, some, some people run pen backstab, some people run like rogue. Um, vicious. Uh, there's a few different options, but I personally like this because it puts the bleed on the target, which is just, yeah, it's nice for that perk. And of course, critical hits extending the duration of your spear debuffs. This one's really important. You dodge, use ability, reduces cooldowns of your other abilities. That's pretty cool. Um, that once you get targets with grit. Abilities have grit on who you verse and stuff. Bruises, of course, I can get punished pretty hard by this. Um, but in general, there's some abilities that have grit, and this is just kind of nice in general. I, I pick it up. Um, this was just kind of self-explanatory, just kind of more execute damage, I guess you could say. And this one, I will double attack a decent bit with the spear in light. So this just reduces cooldowns occasionally, etc. Uh, with the hatchet build, um, the only optional thing you can change, I would say, is final blow for a frenzied purge. But personally, I actually get a decent amount of kills the final blow. I've heard some mixed feelings on this one, um, but I personally run this. But yeah, I run Berserk, Raging Torrent, Social Distancing. Uh, also, an optional one is you could run Feral Rush instead of Raging Torrent, but I personally think this is the way you uh, realistically should run your hatchet. If you run a, want to run a more utility hatchet, uh, you can run perhaps Infected Throw, Berserk, uh, Social Distancing, but always run Berserk and Social Distancing. These are two, I think, really important perks. Of course, you've got Aimed Throw here. To, I actually use this quite a bit to like hit targets that are very low. It takes a bit of practice, but it's uh, it's pretty sick. Now, Javen and Crits. Uh, give you regen of your stam, so that's cool. You know, that's pretty self-explanatory. That's fucking sick. Uh, just extra damage here to a dog with debuff, stamina consumption. Like, this is these two perks are very nice for hatchet when it comes to dodging and attacking with hatchet. Uh, some of these perks are pretty self-explanatory. Just more damage, more damage, damage, and of course, death defy, which is uh, pretty important. All right, so to go over the gear, I've done some recent changes to the way I gear up my light assassin builds compared to the old old video on all my assassin builds, but I wanted to show you guys real 
quick. I've recently picked up some pieces of Frigid Dawn. Um, you can craft this at the kiln. I had a bunch of material I used to craft some pieces and mine has frost conditioning and slash conditioning. The main difference that I've made is basically I've removed health off my pieces, except for my legs here. But I've removed health on all the pieces because in general, it's just better to have a conditioning, like slash conditioning, for example. I ran featherweight with slash conditioning on it. I run gloves. If you're trying to consider like what to run instead of like health, if you don't want to run health, you can run flame conditioning. It depends on your server, but flame conditioning is pretty good. A lot of like BBs and fire stuffs. And with these pants, I would prefer to have something like this. Uh, remove the health, put flame conditioning on it for more uh, flame resistance. That would be really cool, but uh, it's, just, it's still pretty good. Health is still not like terrible or anything. I just, I think flame conditioning or slash conditioning, whatever is better than health. Uh, for the hatchet, I run attunement, pen backstab and vicious. This is bis. I wouldn't run anything else unless you're running some sort of utility hatchet. Uh, with Scorpion Stick, I talked about it earlier. I run Kinley Jagged on it for uh, one of the keystones. And in general, Kinley Jag is not too bad to have. It also affects other people and your squads, of course, like that do more damage to bleeding targets. Um, with this build, I actually run Deto, but it's honestly very optional. Like you could run a lot of different heart runes in the game. It just depends on what your squad's uh, setup is. But for like OPR and all that, I would just run Deto to be honest. Now with my accessories, now this is, there's two options here, right? You could run, for example, Ankh as uh, your necklace, but um, right here, I'm running an Endless First build. But this is, this is mainly a build that's catered run not having a healer. So I have Frost Protection, Health, Stamina, Recovery. All around pretty good. I have Privateer's Heirloom because most of my damage is Slash because I've got Strike Damage from Cyclone, which is my only damage from Spear, realistically. I don't really attack that much of it. So most of the damage from my spear is Cyclone. Yeah, I just run a Slash Ring because it's good for my hatchet. So Invig Slash Damage Hearty. And then Endless First, I run for Refreshing Toast, Fortifying Toast, of course, Empowering Toast. Now, this is an artifact you can't really change much here. But this is nice if you don't have a healer with you. But if you're in war and you have like a healer in your group, you could probably run Ankh, uh, Vis Earring here, Fortifying Toast, Refreshing Toast Regen, and you run uh, Privateer's Heirloom. All right, so to go over this kind of quick gameplay, I'll be showing you guys uh, a lot of clips from my uh, stream. So you guys will get a kind of an idea of like how I play in OPR. And there's, I think there's like a few clips of war, but mainly OPR, you get an idea of the mechanical uh, advantages of this build. But your main thing is Javelin. Once they're, once they're right in front of you, you left click and Cyclone instantly. So you want to like left click and cancel the left click with Cyclone. Um, this is your max damage combo with this build. There is another combo. I personally don't do it, but you can basically jab. And if you do it at the right time, you can sweep to knock him down again. Then you left click cycle and you get a bit more extra CC, uh, knockdown and damage. But I keep my sweep just for like kind of peel. And if I need, uh, uh, I guess, sweep again, it's, it's very optional. I just like having a sweep up. If you don't have cyclone, what you can do is you could jab. You switch to your hatchet and actually literally just feral, uh, feral rush, not feral rush, um, raging torrent. And it does quite a bit of damage. But in general, with this build, um, the way I run it personally is, you know, I, I initiate using my abilities with spear and I'll switch to my hatchet, you know, perhaps berserk or whatever, and just attack constantly and just, you know, raging torrent. This build also does require low ping because hatchet DPS, this is a mainly a hatchet DPS build. Hatchet DPS requires good ping. And of course, not everyone is very good with the hatchet DPS. It's very specific playstyle. It's not for everyone, uh, but this is the way I run the build. And you can fine tune it to make your own type of build where you use perhaps a spear as your um, main damage. All right, besides give you guys the basics, if you guys enjoy the clips I'm gonna show you from my stream, uh, just fun little clips that I had of uh, hitting some sweet jabs, you know, doing some sweet combos and stuff. Uh, if you wanna learn more, you can check out my stream, but I just wanted to give you guys a general basic guide on the build that I've made recently for wars and OPR and such. Kill them all, kill them all, kill them all. They're all clumped up nicely. What just happened? <laughs> Oh, bro, that's... Uh, okay. Oh, 
Thank fuck. Run healer dead. You can just kind of see the damage of Hatchet and how much pressure it puts there. Like, that's why I just... I still think it's just underrated, man. The damage Hatchet. I'm always going to say this every day. Let's go back here. Nice guy on the server, I hate him when he's in the opposing team. <laughs> True. What? Whoa, the fucking... This will be another example, right there. Another example. I think I can kill this one of them. Nope, see like, it's just, I get him all to one HP. This gonna be another example, yep. That's, that would have been, that's unfortunate. Insanely bad, massive sweep, but sir. I have a feeling this is yet. Oh, what well, the wolf got me instead. Come on. Oh, he's getting ganked, he's getting ganked. Oh, dodge. Do you see the power of PCR movement? Oh, the PTR movement coming in strong. Oh shit, they don't know what to do. They're freaking out. They can't hit anything. He can't do, they can't do anything. Holy shit. Wait, well, let's see if I can aim with the javelin. Am I a gamer? Oh, my gamer! Hit him with that. Bust, pushing bust. Guy from, guy from. Uh, 
Calma, 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 calma. You're actually kind of tanky, low key for a fucking for a dex player. That was a little tanky. Shush. Let's go. Healers having the worst time of their life. <laughs> How are you so tanky? That's crazy. You think you're, uh, you think you're escaping? <laughs> Look, what is happening to my body? I seem to be suffering from random fucking damage. That is just, oh my god, you fucking cringe range fuckers. Come here. Yeah? Like that? The keg! <laughs> Fuck are you alive? Some please kill him. Someone. Thank you. I'm like. <laughs> oh. That's okay, one day this guy will die. He was gonna he's gonna run out of stamina at some point. I'm just gonna keep swinging my hatch and eventually he'll die, right? Right? Fucking Boulder. Boulder just saved his life. I don't know like how one person can control the whole fight at fight like no one has the power to control this much pve is i gotta i, I should probably aim when i'm fucking doing the jab up there they keep moving okay we got through like how does someone have that much control over a fight 
that can lead us. So depressing, man. Okay, I don't care if I get stabbed, it's fine. I'm just gonna do this. Bad. Okay, okay what is happening? Alright. Find the right angle here. I'm like, oh, I'll go on this guy here, I think. I feel like I'm playing for my life a bit too much here. Yeah? Okay. One dead. I'm dead. Put a bit of a slow on him. He should die. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna just go uh, break that respawn, yeah? You guys have fun out there. I guess we just lose. Wow, that was cool. What a cool game we've experienced this guy today. Oh, I'm fucking clown. I'm a clown. What? Okay. I was like, what? Stupid stone form fucking glitch. Fucking. Oh, shoot. Shoot, 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 shoot. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Wow, man, it's almost like it's crazy. This team is really doing. Really Mini. Wow, insane. 